one can only hope this works out okay. I don't know how the sound is going to be. Oh my goodness, I left my video hat home. I'm sitting next to the River Yanakai um, in Lineo Park. Um, across the street from Recreo Park, which is one block from my house. And I just decided to go for a walk and bring my camera with me. So first thing I want to talk about is subscriptions. As I announced some videos back, if I don't have a thousand subscriptions by the 20th of this month, which is 10 days away, uh, my channel will no longer exist. So, so what happened? A number of people subscribed, and it was looking pretty good. And uh, last I had checked. I was about a hundred away with 20 days to go. So uh, it's doable. But somebody decided to help me and I appreciate the thought and the sentiment, but there's a way to buy subscriptions online for a channel. And I I'm aware of those, I would never do it. But all of a sudden I start getting all these subscribers and in 24 hours I had 600 and in two days I had about 1,500. But YouTube is, they're not stupid. They may do stupid things, but they're not stupid. And they were aware that these were bought. How? Well, most of them had Russian names. All of a sudden, I've got almost 2,000 Russian subscribers out of the woodwork. Well, here's the problem with those. They've, they've been going through and deleting them and deleting them every day. Subscribers are deleted. Some legitimate subscribers could be deleted on the way. If that's you, please subscribe again. But also, they can decide, it's in their terms of agreement, that if you do something like that, they can ban you for life. So my channel may or may not exist after the 20th. Um, I think we were well on our way for it. I, I really don't know right now. So let's hope everything works out okay. But if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Patreon viewers, uh, thank you again. I made a mention in Facebook and I'll make a quick mention here. I had promised for Patreon viewers for sticking with me for the month that I couldn't do any videos. Um, and they financially support the channel and it's greatly appreciated. And they, they hung in there. Now, I had always promised that I would never put up for sale videos like um, I make for information and that holds true. But I also promised for those Patreon viewers as a thank you that I would do one or two videos a month specifically for them. But they're not going to be this kind of information video that I do. It's going to be uh, more personalized and and also what they're looking for. Now, I, I, maybe I bit off more than I can chew. But I got uh, two requests that were virtually identical from Patreon viewers about could you tell the saga about your weight? How before you got sick, you were this size, and then when you got sick, you blew up like a house, and ever since you uh, got well, you've been going back downhill. Uh, I thought about it for a couple days, and I've decided I, I will do that video. Of, it, it wouldn't have been my choice, certainly, but um, I said it, so I'll do it. Uh, I don't know that it's gonna be very interesting, but we'll see. So you've seen seven or eight videos on Columbia for my last trip, and of course that prompts email saying, so are you moving, are you moving? And going back almost a year now when I made a video about what my future plans would be when I decided that I was going to be moving out of Hinon, um, I was gonna go back to Cuenca, what are my plans? My plans are pretty much the same. I plan on 
living in Cuenca and also living in Colombia. I plan on going back and forth and splitting up about 50-50 for the year. Now, after 2018, I honestly, I'm not sure. I may decide to make a move to Colombia. I may decide to stay here. I don't know. I really don't know. It's not a bad option either way, and it's nice to have choices, and it's nice that it is 100% my choice, how I feel and what I want to do. So I'm not forced into anything. Um, I'll let you know as we go along, but you're going to see more in Colombia and here, and I might even do some things with the channel to reflect that. Uh, if I'm going to be doing more things while I'm in Colombia, then Cuenca, Ecuador might not be the best title. Maybe Ecuador dash Colombia or something. I don't know, but um, I'm open for suggestions. I want to mention people about coming here and spending habits. Um, there's a tendency, and I'm going to forewarn you, if you're coming here, please take heed of this. When you go somewhere new, and you're kind of setting up your household and you're exploring there's a, a strong tendency to spend a lot when you first arrive and you almost lose touch with the value of that money it feels like you've just you've been saving and you've got some thousands set back for for that and it feels like it's just there and you can do what you want to do, and, and you can. But I'm going to caution you that that's deceiving and don't fall for it. It's expensive to get set up, particularly since you don't know where and who to see, and you end up buying a lot of new stuff, and um, you buy stuff that you're not happy with because it's not what you thought it would be. Like you buy a couch and it just looked great in the showroom, and then you get back home and you realize after a couple of days that the couch is designed for people with shorter legs. And it's really not very comfortable. And it's difficult to get up and out of because it's almost like you're sitting on the floor. And you didn't notice it in the showroom because it's kind of subtle. There's a lot of things like that. So I'm just going to suggest that even when you're new here, set yourself some kind of budget. Keep some control of that one year later you'll be really happy that you did i see a lot of people go backwards on that particularly if after six months or a year they decide that's not the place they want to be and now they got to go do it all over again and they start thinking about all the money that they really wasted also in facebook i mentioned the tag along program now this has been requested now and then ever since i made the last trip to columbia which was a year ago um, and I just, essentially I just ignored it, and uh, I don't know that I even replied to any of them. But recently I've been getting more, and I thought about it, and I posted it on a Facebook page for opinions. Um, and it really was kind of silly, why am I worried about it, because it's not like I have to commit after a first one or a second one or at any point I can decide I don't want to do that. And when I kind of realized that, then I decided I'm going to give this a shot. Now, tag along program, what does that amount to? A lot of people are uncomfortable, nervous, afraid, uh, or just don't want to run into problems crossing a border into another country. And they don't know the best way to go. It's not like you can just um, book something and you know how it's going to go. Uh, it tends to be problematic. And, and, so, and so the request is that they come along with me, pay my expenses for the trouble, and show them how to choose the buses, what buses to take, when to do this, how to, what to do at the border, get through all of that. How do I find really nice hotels for $10, $15 a night? Uh, because they look up and they're only finding them for 40 or $50. So how can all this stuff happen? So I decided that I am going to do that. If anybody's interested, it will be for one, two, or three people. Uh, one's fine. Two, no more than three. 
Uh, no more than three because four people fit in a taxi and I don't want to get into a lot of logistics. Uh, I'm not a tour guide and that's not what I'm doing. So one, two or three people and what they'll be able to do is come along as I get the bus tickets. We'll take the bus. I'll clue them in about when they can jump off and jump back on and not worry about getting lost and where they can eat along the way uh, so that they don't get uh, left behind. I'll explain to them what to expect. I'll go through the border with them so um, they can see how that's done. It's really not that complicated, but first time through, a lot of people get confused. I'll show them in Colombia how to pick up the buses there, taxis, what to look for, uh, how to, how and where to exchange money uh, so that you're not getting fleeced. Um, and when we arrive in Armenia or Manizales, one or the other, uh, I'll show them, uh, well actually on the trip, I'll show them how to choose a bed and breakfast or a hotel and uh, so that they can you know, not spend fifty dollars, but you know, ten to twenty dollars for a nice place to sleep. Uh, once they're there, they're going to do the, what they want to do. I mean, I'm not tied at the hip. I'm not charging them uh, for my services uh, in that respect. Uh, but when it's time to go back, we'll get together and we'll go back together. One, two, or three people. And the way I'm, I've, I've given this a lot of thought, and the way I'm going to break this down is I'm essentially going to be covering my expenses. And I want to make it as minimal as possible. So this will be for me for the taxis and buses and a couple days stay, not, not all my personal time while I'm there. Uh, meal here and there. And this is the way I've got it broken down. So for one person, it'll be $125. For two people, it'll be two hundred dollars, hundred each, and for three people, it'll be two fifty. Uh, I'm essentially getting my cost covered. If you're interested, contact me right away. I'm going this month on the twenty second. I'll be leaving at five thirty in the afternoon. However, I've got to buy my ticket one or two days ahead of time. Uh, so I'll be going to the bus terminal to buy my ticket on Tuesday or Wednesday. So if you're going to do that, you're going to want to also do that and go with me. So if you're interested, uh, let me know. If you're not interested, that's absolutely fine. I'm going anyway. Um, I don't know if this is going to be a thorn in my side or not. I guess we'll find out. Now, I do have some things uh, to do about Cuenca. Uh, I've still got some videos to make. I've been trying to catch up on these Colombian ones. I want to get them done before I go again. And I think I've only got one, possibly two more, not counting this one. One or two more about Colombia. I think one more about Colombia. And then I've got uh, probably eight or ten about Cuenca, my life in Cuenca, things that I do in Cuenca, uh, clips ready to go, be put together, edited. And as a reminder, one of the reasons it takes a while is you go out and you do the video clips, and that can be one, two, three hours. In this case, doing this kind, I call the talking head, it's mostly the time. Okay, so if this turns out to be a 15 minute video, then I probably spent 25 minutes on it. Video clips, whatever whatever it is, you probably typically multiply times four or six to get those clips. The real time comes into editing, and mostly because I'm just not that great at it, and it takes me quite a while. For me to edit a 15 minute video, I can put anywhere from three to six hours into it. Uh, so it is time consuming. And that's why I can't crank out three, four, five in a day. It just, I, I, I can't do it. But I will get caught up, and I have some for Cuenca coming um, this coming week. You'll see probably three or four uh, this coming week, the week after. Hopefully there'll be some more. And then Thursday I head to Colombia. Now I'm not going to be repeating myself. I'm not going to be showing 
a lot of border clips or uh, driving along the scenic highway, unless something catches my eye, and then, and then I'll do that. Um, when I get there, I will try to find something new and interesting, and then I'll video that. Uh, for example, that Park of Life that's in Armenia, I really want to do a video there, so I'm going to do that. And on one of these trips, it won't be this next one, but I will be going to Parque de la Cafe, which is uh, the, the Disney World of Colombia. Uh, Panica is a very interesting place. It's horseback riding. You can watch them make panela. Uh, there's a lot of animals. It's kind of like a tourist living farm. Um, it's a fun place. At some point, I'll do some Pineda videos. I'll be going back to Manizales. But this trip, I'm actually going to be going for a work purpose. Um, probably Saturday night and Sunday, or Sunday and Monday, to Medellin. Uh, just actually north of it, uh, as you're leaving that city and going into the next city. I'll be going there. And so I'll take some video clips there, assuming I have some time for that. Um, I hope I have some time, but there won't be much free time. So I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling until Tuesday, uh, the following Tuesday after I have left. And then I'll probably spend a day or two to crash unwind and just chill. And then I'll do some videos um, around Armenia. So that's the plan coming up. Uh, I've been getting a lot of really good comments. Uh, they just keep growing and growing, and I thank you for that. Again, if there's anything in particular that you want to see, uh, you know, drop me an email, and I'll do what I can. I met with a couple that recently moved here. Um, I won't mention names, but he's a retired FBI field agent, and his wife, they've been married for 35 years. And to my great pleasure, they were wonderful people to meet, to talk to. We had a coffee that turned into, I don't know, I wasn't keeping track, two, three hours maybe of good conversation. And it was very nice to meet them. And if you're watching, thank you again. Uh, let me know if you want to meet again sometime. If I got time, would love to. Um, and there's some other people that have requested that they meet up. I've got. Uh, Another couple I'm meeting this next week that just arrived here. I don't want to do that all the time, but uh, from time to time, I, I don't mind doing it. Usually, it's, it's kind of fun. Bottom line is feel like this is your channel. Feel like this is your community. Feel like this is something that you can be involved in. If you've got constructive uh, questions, by all means, ask them. If there's something in particular you want to see, if I can, if I can work into what I'm doing, I will definitely do that. I'll go out of my way to try to do that. So having said that, I'm going to make this last shot a picture of, or a video of where I'm sitting. So I will see you later. You know you could